Okay, so this is going to be a continuation on the um, BARD song classifier with machine learning project I'm working on. As a reminder, um, we went over the data pre-processing in one of the previous videos where we um, you know, filter for the three species. Um, and then we removed duplicates and um, we did the train and test split, which is a 70-30 split. And we also already did some of the data cleaning. I'm not going to go over each one of them today. Uh, you can read them here on the website, or you can go um, watch the data cleaning part one and part two videos. And for this video, I'm going to do the data extraction. So um, since we're working with the audio data, um, each of the audio, uh, we can, it can be loaded using the liberosaw.load function but uh, it actually takes quite a bit of time for this function to load the audio object so to save some time i'm going to extract the numpy array object um, by using the librosa.load function and um, that way i can just um, you know query the numpy array object going forward uh, that's gonna save me some time when i start doing the eda and the model building okay and so as a reminder, we already have the clean tra uh, cleaned train data frame and the clean test data frame, which we will, it will be the starting point of uh, today's um, notebook. And OK, so this is the data extraction notebook. And um, um, you know, just like previously, I am going to first import libraries. And I want to first import libraries for drive access because I have all my files saved in my Google Drive. To import drive access, I'm going to say from Google Drive. And then I need to run my drive. So it's going to ask me to grant access. And the drive has been mounted. So now I'm going to import the standard libraries. NumPy and Pandas. And I am going to import library Librosa for audio files. And since I'm going to extract the NumPy array object and save to my drive, I also need uh, to import OS for um, creating files and accessing files from a drive. For Okay, now that libraries have been imported, I am going to uh, load the clean train df.csv and clean test df.csv files. So save that content slash drive slash my drive slash project. And the file name is clean train df csv. And after importing, I'd probably want to take a look at the first few rows. And content slash. Let me just make sure. Content. Oh, I forgot the slash at the very beginning. Okay. 
So now I have the uh, train DF and I will do the same for the test. Now the train and test have been imported. I am going to define my functions. So the first function I would want to define is a function to load the audio object using Librosa load. Okay. Uh, and to do this, I am going to use this file name column from my data frame. Uh, and remember when we load the files using the browser, we need to specify the sample rate. And here I'm going to set to 16,000, which is the sample rate at, that uh, I plan to use for all my files. And um, my file path is going to be Remember at content, such as such my address, such projects, and then the folder is called train audio. Uh, yes, train audio and plus the file name. So it, for example, the first one would be slash train audio slash bar swall slash the OGG file name. And I will load the object using Librosa. Sample rate equal to sample rate. So when I load it like this, it's going to automatically resample my um, audio to um, the specified sample rate, which is 16,000 here. And once I do that, I'm going to return audio. Okay, so now I have this function, I am going to try using this function to um, extract the uh, NumPy array from the first uh, first example. Uh, let's see. Audio. Um, Okay, so in my instance, my example is, I'm just gonna pick the first one. Okay, and I am going to call this function and turn an audio. And we want the audio. And we can see here that uh, the um, librosa.load function um, gave us an NumPy array object as the result. So now we know the extract audio function works. I am going to uh, build the intuition for um, the save audio numpy function so that I can uh, run, you know, mm, use the extract audio function to extract the um, numpy array for all of the files in my training and test data frame. Okay, uh, so now we have the example and example audio. We want to, um, let's see. So in the example, the first half is the folder and then the second half is the actual file name. So I'm going to split this so that I have a folder, which is comes in, 
right here. So I'm going to say example split. Uh, so the split function uh, method is going to split this uh, at the backslash and I'm going to index the first object. And let's just take a look. And that is correct. And then the same thing for the file name, which is going to be the second object. And that is correct. And what do I want to do? Since my uh, file is going to be saved as .mpy object, I want to change this file name to .mpy object. So I'm going to name this new file name. .replace. And I'm just going to replace .ogg with uh, .mpy. And let's take a look at the new file name. And that is correct. So now what do I want to do? I want to create a folder um, in my project folder here where I'm going to save all the all the um, MPY object. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a folder. I'm going to use os.makeDirs. Uh, the path is going to be. I'm just going to copy this. I want to create a folder called uh, train npy, right? And exists. OK is going to be false. So I'm telling the um, function that don't create this folder if it already exists. And uh, we don't have the folder, so I'm going to create this folder. And it should show up here in a minute. And there it is, the train and py folder. Right now, it should be empty. OK. And so the next thing I want to do is I want to uh, probably save the mpy object which is example audio uh, as an mpy object into this new folder right okay so what is the directory i want to save the file in save the... is gonna be slash pumpkin right so it's gonna be slash folder and I can use the formatted string here to put folder in like this. And this is going to be the saver. OK. And then I would want to make a subfolder within the train and py that's called comsan, uh, which is this folder, right? So I'm going to make another do that which is gonna be the saver and exist okay it's false so i'm gonna create this and it should show up here in a minute there it is so right now the comsan folder is also empty and now that i have the folder structure set up i am ready to save um, the files so the file so the first one is, thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say what is the file name that i'm going to save it as so it's gonna be uh, i'm gonna use a format string here save the and um I think it should be, where is it? Uh, new file name. And let's take a look at this. Okay, so that is the right file name. And I am going to say with open 
save file name with right access as file. I'm not gonna do anything here. Um, I just want to open this file so that I can uh, save this, the object, which is the, the example audio object into this file name, right? Uh, let's try this. And this should show up in a minute. And there it is. There's our, um, you know, the NumPy array object that uh, we extracted using the browser and uh, saved as a NumPy array object into our drive. And to check that so this was saved correctly, I'm going to use numpy.load to load this object. And we can see here that this uh, object is the same as the object that uh, we used the Librosa load originally. So this would be, I think, the intuition for how we want to build the save audio uh, NumPy function. So now I'm going to write the um, save audio NumPy function. Okay. And what do I want to do here? I want to look through um, all the file names. So I'm going to have my uh, parameter as file names, and I want to treat the train and test differently. So I'm going to have a parameter that's called is train. Okay. So I want to uh, create directory to save the extracted um, numpy array first of all which is the first step here, Oops. Uh, the step. So I want to call it train numpy if it's training data and uh, test numpy if it's test data. Okay. If it's training data, then I'm gonna say my uh, folder is gonna be In NumPy, otherwise, my folder directory is going to be okay. And I will need a list to store the file path which contains the um, dot NumPy object. So remember, we had the file name with the um, you know the file path uh, with the file name .ogg. So we want another column um, that says barswa slash file name dot numpy, so that we can quickly access the numpy objects. And then I'm going to loop over the file names and extract the NumPy object and uh, save to um, perspective. So, okay. My file name in Marie. File names. So this is me looping over the file names. I'm going to use call the extract audio function to get to return audio to me by passing the file name as parameter. 
Okay, so here I already extract audio, which is the first step that we did here. We extracted audio. And what do I want to do? I want to split. Um, yep, I want to split the uh, file path, the original file path, so that I have the folder and the file name. Uh, folder. And. Split zero and uh, file name is file uh, name. Let's just call it name. Wong, and I want to replace. I'm just going to replace the dot OGG with dot uh, MPY. So this is uh, going to be the new file name and then I want to create this directory, right? Uh, let me see here. I should have created the directory here, right? Because now I'm in a loop. So I'm going to create the directory here and Gonna be folder. It is still be false. Okay, so since this was an example, I'm going to move this to trash. Okay, and then I want to create a safer. All right. And this should be the folder. Tool. And I'm going to use a uh, formatted string slash folder. So in this case, it's going to be uh, in our first example, right? It's going to be content drive, blah, blah, slash chain underscore MPY slash. Uh, the first one is comes in, right? So it will be slash comes in. It will be similar format as this line right here. And then I am going to create this directory. Okay. And then I want to create the save file name. which is going to be the saver uh, slash new file name. In this case, my new file name is name.replace or dot, where we, I replace the dot OGG with dot MPY. Okay. And then I am going to save the files. Save. Oh, Right. So I'm going to open the save file name uh, with write access, and then I'm going to save the save file name, uh, save the ex ex save the audio into the save file save file name. So my audio here is just going to be audio, right? Instead of example. Okay. And that should be it. So the, with this, it's going to automatically close the file. Okay. Once I loop over all of my files, I want to return the uh, file path. 
But before I do that, I want to um, assert that uh, the all the objects in the file names have successfully been saved um, and added to the file path. So I would want to, where is my file path? I will need to add file path. into my list. Let me just think about this. This should be Okay. I want to add it here. Okay. So this should be Comsan, which is going to be the folder slash new file name. So this should be my updated file path. Okay. And I'm going to And then I will return to all that. Let's hope I didn't make a mistake. I'm going to execute the function. Okay. And let's just try using this function on a subset of our overall uh, training data. Try using function. So my example file names is going to be train file name head 10. So this is going to give me the first 10 file names from my training. And let's just make sure the folders are not there. And I'm going to call the function. And Call the function and pass in the example file names and is string equals true. Okay. And then I would probably want to look at the example file path. And I made a mistake. It should be replaced, not replaced. Let's try running it again. Let's see. Example file path exists. Oh, okay. Let's delete this. Let's try again. Example file path. What did I do? Ah, okay. So, uh, this is saying this already exists because obviously 
uh, you know, after I run through the first one and the second one, when I get to the third one, I already have a folder called consent. So I'm going to add a statement here that catches this. Uh, let's see. Okay. Save there. And then I'm going to say uh, if that uh, exists. Uh, let's see. So if it exists, what am I going to do? I'm just going to um, pass. Otherwise, let's make the directory. Let's, uh, okay. let's try again. All right, perfect. So my 10 NumPy array objects have been uh, created, um, extracted, and let me just go to my project folder to check. As you can see here, the folders were created, NumPy array objects were extracted and saved. All right, so now that I know this works with us in a subset of example, I am going to run it on my overall chain and test data frame. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get the file names. Train yes, file name. file names. Okay. And I want to call the function by passing in my train file names. Uh, and return the train file path. And this is going to take a minute to run, so I'm going to pause the recording here and then I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so this finished. Uh, it took a little bit more than seven minutes. As uh, we can see here, the train file path actually looks um, as what we would expect. So now I am going to pick an example. Pick an example. Confirm the uh, NumPy objects were saved. Successfully. And we can probably see them here as well. So if we look at the train NumPy, we have the three folders. And uh, we can see that a lot of, there's a lot of uh, NumPy files being saved here for all the training data. So I am going to just pick a random example um, just to check. Example before. I'm going to use the uh, called extract audio function to extract the um, NumPy array object using uh, Librosa load first. Let's just pick a random example from 350 and let's display it. And let's also display the shape. Okay. And 
I need to find out what the file name is. So I'm going to uh, do the quick place. Okay. And then I am going to use the numpy.load to load the object that was extracted from our uh, big function here. So my file path is going to be, let's copy the file path here since it was training. It's going to be in the training folder. Uh, and I'm going to use an F string and pass in a new file name here. And I think this is it. I'm going to call this example after. And we can see that uh, just by looking at this visual inspection, they look to be the same. And we can confirm this by using numpy array equal to confirm they're the same. So it's going to be example before and example after. And indeed, we can see that uh, the objects are the same object. OK, so now I confirm that uh, the numpy arrays have been saved successfully. I am going to add another column, uh, new column in chain df uh, for the new file names, file path. Okay. Uh, trend. File name is point npy is going to be the chain file path. And I'd probably want to take a look at the train data frame after this. And indeed, this was saved successfully. So we have the original file name and the NumPy array file name. And we can access each of these NumPy arrays using the np.load method. And I am going to do the same thing for the test. I'm just going to copy this whole chunk that I did for train and paste it and change this to test. Then everything is just going to be test now. Look at the test file name and this is going to be, is train going to be false, right? Because now we're doing the test. And again, this is going to take a few minutes to run. So I'm going to um, pause the recording and I'll be right back. And I'm back. So uh, now the test files have also been saved. We can see here in the test NumPy folder, we have uh, the three folders for the three species. And I am just going to do the same thing and uh, pick an example. This time, let's do 250. And I'm going to load it from the test numpy folder and yep, and confirm that the arrays are indeed equal and then i'm going to add this new column to the test df and again we can see that uh, here this uh, numpy array uh, file name column has been successfully added. 
and uh, it's uh, consistent with the file name column. The only difference is now the uh, file uh, type is NumPy array instead of OGG. And lastly, I am just going to save uh, the train and test DF to uh, CSV files so I can use it again in the future. Uh, similarly to what we've done in the past, I'm going to copy the file path here. Uh, let's call it clean train dev npy npy and then bring it back to see what it falls. The same for test. And this should show up in this folder in a minute. And there it is, the clean train DF with the NumPy and the clean test DF with NumPy. And with that, um, I conclude the, this is the end of the data extraction um, video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, next up, I will be talking about the EDA and uh, um, I hope you can tune in to watch that as well. Thank you.